Hello everybody, Moore here, and thank you for joining me in my channel. Right now, today, I am going to do a little quick guide and description on how to handle the Void Affinity Potion Keep. The Void Affinity Potion Keep. It's the potion keep that you need to get the Void Affinity Potions to ascend your Void Champions. Those Void Champions, every champion needs potions from their specific affinity keep and the arcane keep as well. You need two sets of potions to be able to increase and ascend your champion. Ascending is that pink level of the stars as you can get as you grow, right? So those pink stars, they give you increased stats. So it helps improve your champion as a whole, makes them better, and just grows them, so therefore grows and progresses your account as well, right? So today is the Void Affinity Keep itself. The Void Affinity Keep, he focuses on applying a ton of debuffs against you if you can't see. I got poison, <clears throat> excuse me, poison for days against my team, and oddly enough, my team's actually dropping down. They usually don't do that. That was really, really poor RNG against me right there. Come here, replay this real quick. So, the Void Affinity, well, not just the Void Affinity, sorry, every dungeon out there has a different and unique kit to face you with, right? So, they bring something different to the table to challenge you and to see if you can handle it and take care of it, right? So you can't necessarily bring Ed the same exact team to every single dungeon, every single content of the game. So every dungeon has a different kit, right? So the, the Void here, the Void Keep, he applies and brings a lot of debuffs against you, a lot of poisons, a lot of block, a lot of debuffs in general. So the best way that I've found to handle him and to deal with this boss is to bring in a champion that will block debuffs or cleanse debuffs, either or. I brought Marked. She's the rare champion that just attacked right now. She's only a four-star level 40. She's a rare barbarian, right? But what she does is she applies a block debuffs buff on your entire team. She also applies a defense up buff, which is pretty handy as well, too. You didn't get to see her in action right there, so let's just try this again. They're running this run pretty fast. This is stage 15, you guys. So I've got 460s and I got 140. I've got a 40 in there still, you guys. This keep really is not entirely all that hard. You just have to deal with those poisons. You have to deal with those debuffs that are being applied against you so that you can survive and you can handle the boss. Because if those debuffs wipe you and clear you and take you out, which they will if you don't deal with them, if you don't take care of them, then you'll die. You'll just get wiped. You've got to take care of them, deal with them, do something with them, right, you guys? So let's see if they can survive a little bit longer this time. My 60s just may be too strong. All four of those 60s, actually three of those four 60s, now have full masteries. They're with marked. She's supposed to survive. I might need to adjust my team just slightly so they don't clear it out quite as fast because they're actually speed running this pretty fast, pretty well. A little bit easier and quicker than I expected them to. I apologize, you guys. Let me edit this team. Let me take Queen Eva out of the mix right quick. And so you can see something a little bit different. I'm going to do, let's put Jaw Ring in the lead. Come here, Jaw Ring. And let's put, put Chevalier. Let's see what happens with this team. See if Mark can actually show you what she can do and actually block some debuffs for everybody. So now what... Taking Queen Eva out though. So look, you see the block debuffs and the defense up. That came from Mark. She is a rare champion that applies an AOE 60% defense up buff. That is an amazing buff. That is a good buff, especially coming from a rare AOE defense up. Granted, without books, it's on like a six turn cooldown, which is her problem right now. She's got no books in her. So it's only a six turn cooldown. And so it hardly ever comes around. So when it comes time for the boss, it's on cooldown. And we're not going to make it this turn, are we? I <laughs> I decreased it. I decreased the efficiency a little too much, it looks like, you guys. Oh, Apothecary for the Clutch Shield. Let's see if she can make it real quick to the boss. I want her to show you guys. Nope, she's not going to do it. One more try. And if not, I'll just restart this whole video. Do a different video altogether. Let's put Mr. Kid Monster in there. Let's get some big AoE shields, shall we? Miscreant Monster has some nice AoE damage, but she, he doesn't have the nuking capability that Queen Eva does. So hopefully it works out and I can actually show you Marked against the boss, which is what I want to show you. Marked will block those debuffs 
so that boss does not land them against you. And that is the critical and crucial and best way to handle that boss, especially if you don't have the champions that can just nuke him out. Apparently, I do. It's been a while since I've farmed this keep because I don't use a whole lot of void champions. And not just that, most of the champions I use are already ascended, so I don't farm hardly any of the potion keeps in general because a lot of the potions I get, I acquire through random parts of the game. Like the, can the clan boss, sometimes you get rewards that are potions. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So, boom, there she just applied defense up and the block def and the block buffs. And the boss just tried to put some um, debuffs against us. It worked. She blocked them. So it actually did not apply those buffs, those debuffs. I'm not sure if you saw it. It went pretty quick, but she works. She's only a rare. She's a magic affinity. But again, she's a rare. She's a rare that will give you a defense up and a block damage buff. So, sorry, not a block damage, a block debuff buff. She's farmable. You can get her in the campaign. She's efficient. She's effective for this kind of content, especially for this keep. This keep you requires you to basically have either a nuking team, a bunch of level 60s, or a strategically placed buffing team so it blocks the debuffs coming in. Mark can get that job done. Other champions can get it done for you as well. See what you have on your roster. See what kind of team you can put together against the Void Affinity boss. If you have a different team, if you use somebody else different, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're using and how you do it. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button that's above my head. Check out another video on the other side, and I will see you on the next video.